All right, so for editing things, there's a few things that we can do. First of all, if you have a picture that is up and down, there is a little gear in the top right corner next to the question mark. If you click on that little gear, you can change the orientation. You look down, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven options down. Right now it's on landscape, so that means horizontal. You could move it to portrait and that would turn it the other way. I am not going to do that because mine is at landscape, so I'm gonna keep it there. Uh, but that's how you would change that. Um, so one of the things that you may have noticed as you're playing it is that like on mine, if we look towards the end, you can see down in my, my two tracks, you can see that my photo is shorter than my video. Now we don't want that because once it gets past the photo, it's gonna go back to just looking black. So in order to fix that, what I need to do is make sure that I have selected the photo and you can see that I have, cause you can see there's like it's highlighted in yellow on the bottom. If I clicked off of it, it's no longer highlighted. And I'm gonna click back on it. So you can see down at the, on that bottom track, I've selected the photo and you can see there's a red little kind of like square target. I'm gonna put my finger on that and I'm just gonna slowly slide it and it is going to make my photo last for longer. And what I want to do is I like to just make it go on for a few extra seconds afterwards. So let's just go like that far. Now, I'm gonna show you what that will kind of look like towards the end. So here my image is almost complete. And then you'll see that once it gets to the part where my video has stopped and it's just my, my photo, my whole, my whole image kind of pops back in. So now something I'm noticing is that some of my pictures are cropped out. So what I'm gonna actually do, I'm gonna make sure that my photo is selected. So again, it's highlighted in yellow around it. And then I'm just gonna pinch and I'm just gonna kind of make sure that all of my pieces are in there. So that's another thing that I wanna make sure I do. So now let's make our, our video look a little bit crisper. So I'm gonna click on that bottom or on the middle track. I'm gonna make sure that I have that little yellow highlight around my video. And you see in the bottom right corner, there's like a little rainbow circle swirl. I'm gonna click on that. Now this is kind of where all the magic happens. So you can see we have this, it says chroma key. This is where you can pick the color that the camera detects. It is always going to be preset to green, um, but we could change this to red. And then what it would be doing was picking up the red color to get rid of it. Now our pieces are not red. So now you can see when we switched it to red, it doesn't work. So I need to switch it back to green. Um, and then, that is one place that you can play with it. You can make it maybe a little bit greener because I know that we don't have, ours isn't lime green, ours is kind of a little bit darker green. So if you kind of darken the green a little bit, um, that can help. So you can see what you kind of want to see is that those, those pieces that you're laying get that grid and there's not much other like shading of gray or green in it. The other thing that you can do is increase the sensitivity. So you're going to see um, to the right of the chroma key, there's a little sensitivity scale. It is always set at 40, and I will say it's pretty good usually at 40. Sometimes you need to go up a couple percentage or go down a couple percentage, but I will show you, if you go up even just a little bit, the whole image will go away. So on my, on my video, you can see that I have my white paper in the background and then those green pieces are on top and those green pieces are the only thing that have turned to the grid, which is what we want. Now we don't want that whole background to disappear. So when I increase my sensitivity, you can see it all just disappears. We do not want it to be our sensitivity to be too high. Now we also don't want our sensitivity to be too low because as you see, as I lower it, it just starts to turn green. So now again, it's not detecting any of that green and it's not taking anything away. So there's kind of like a sweet spot. It's usually about 40, maybe 41, 42. Sometimes you need to decrease the sensitivity um, usually you just need to increase it a little bit, but that kind of helps it to make it look more crisp. So I'm going to click done and I'm going to kind of scroll to the beginning of my video. Um, you can kind of see here that maybe my sensitivity is too sensitive because do you see how you can kind of see my image? So I'm actually going to go back to 40% and I think that that is going to work for me, maybe even less. That should work. Now, I'm gonna press play and you can kind of see it come to life. And you can see how it looks a little bit crisper this time.
All right, so that's kind of how you can edit it to make it look nice. I am going to have one more video. This video is just kind of like extra little fun things that you can do. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do it, but there's also a really nice video that the Green Screen by Do Inc. Um, Corporation has made. So you can watch those after you've kind of made some editing, finishing touches. Again, let me know if you need help.